Hi, welcome. I'm Gia and um, I am here today to go over Louis Vuitton bags and where you can get them if you're thinking about reselling at a higher end scale, but on a budget. So Louis Vuitton budget, that really doesn't go hand in hand, but I'm going to show you what you can get on a budget. Um, this right here just came in today, so we're gonna do a reveal. I just um, I opened this, the sides already here, so it's easy to pull it out, but I haven't been in it yet, so I haven't seen it yet. I actually bought this one though. This one actually I bought prior to finding out where I can find some other Louis Vuitton authentic bags from actually from Japan without paying the shipping for from Japan. <laughs> the expensive um, long weighted uh, shipping from Japan. Um, so I got this one first. I actually paid I actually paid four hundred and fifty dollars for this one and we're gonna see what kind of bag I got. But after I bought this, I literally found out like a day or two later where I can find some, you know, older Louis Vuitton bags for reselling. And some of them obviously are damaged or need some repair. But I also probably in the next video gonna show you how to clean them. So I'm gonna clean them up, them clean the leather, the canvas part, and then also the, the brass to clean up the any of the hardware to make it look newer. And then I'm gonna go and turn around and, and sell them for double or maybe even possibly triple my money, just depending. This one though, I definitely not going to double my money because I did spend, um, I paid $450, but with um, taxes and things like, and the shipping, I paid closer to $500. I think it was $497 I paid for this one. But I think I'm gonna, just depending how the, the bag looks and how damaged it is and how much I have to clean up and after cleaning up how it looks, it will depend on what I'm going to put on the market for. Without looking at it, I would say I'd probably put it back on the market about $800, which would give me like a $300 profit. Now there's some that are going for a little cheaper and then there's some that's going for a little more expensive. So I'm, I'm trying to be in the middle. And in the meantime, I'm probably going to wear this one because I actually bought this for myself. But knowing now that I can find them for a lot less, I think I'm gonna just sell this one and get my money back, make a couple hundred dollars hopefully on it and then use that those couple hundred dollars to buy some more bags and then um, hopefully keep one bag for myself and continue selling. So we'll, we'll see about that and I will give you an update of when I sell this, but I think I'm gonna put it on Macari and I'm gonna put it on eBay. So so here, we're gonna open this now. So I, I already opened up the, the lid here. And this is the first time seeing it, so I'm very excited. So I'm hoping I'm saying it right. It's, it's not a Deville, it's a Troville. So and if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. I just know that I, I love the design of the bag. Also, she sent me something here. She said, thank you. Um... Let's first open this and see what she got me before we open up the beautiful bag and see what condition it's in. She sent me, oh, this is, it's kind of, it's like a little bracelet or something. It's really cute. I don't think it's gonna fit my, it may, my, it may. it's a bracelet. It's a cute little bracelet. That was nice of her. So I got a little gift. So this is the bag. So here it is. So the leather looks like, um, just obviously some blemishes to the leather that I need to clean up. 
And then here's the bottom of the bag and here's the front so definitely need to clean it up and then here are the handles and which I, I've already seen them in the pictures but never seen them up close so now I'm seeing it so the inside I make sure I she actually has this is actually a good idea. So she put in a fabric softener in here to make it smell good. So that might be a good idea to put in some other handbags that you actually get from Japan that they say they smell, which, uh, you know, I ordered some and they're in route. So we'll, we'll see how that, that smell that everybody's talking about. But here's the inside. So it looks pretty, yeah, it's pretty clean. So I'm... Don't know if I could get 800 for this, and I see it has an opening right here. And it looks like it's a little worn out right here. So right here, gotta be careful for that. I don't want it to rip, because that costs money when it's about to rip. Anyway, so here's the bag I bought for $450. And so now I'm going to show you uh, what is still on its way. It's been shipped, but it hasn't been here yet, of Louis bags that I can sell for money uh, after buying it for a lot less. Okay, so uh, let me um, go to that, that screen and show you and that way if you're looking for a way to find some of the louis bags that you can either you know put, do some maintenance clean it i'm going to clean it I'm cleaning all this up make it look new i'm also going to the any brass or anything that looks like it's not that it needs to be cleaned the zipper so right here good example it's right here on the zipper you can see the green right there. Now I have something that can clean all that up and make it look new. So that way that doesn't look all dirty. It'll look brand new. Okay. So we're going to be doing that next and I'll show you on the screen now what I am going to start doing that I just found that you can do too, to find Louis bags for a lot less money. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So now we're here on the screen showing what I bought. So I bought this yesterday on an auction. So on eBay, they have a, you, you can't just type in Louis Vuitton and, and then go to auction and hope you find what you're looking for at a lesser price. I mean, any auction you hopefully can get it for lesser price. But as you see here, I typed in junk Louis Vuitton. So I just typed in junk and then Louis Vuitton popped up because I previously typed that in. And then they have, you know, junk Louis Vuitton bag and then they have junk drawer. They have everything that starts with junk. So I hit uh, junk Louis Vuitton. Then it'll bring me up all these things that are right now um, for sale that are junk bags. They're completely 100% authentic with their date codes and so forth, but they're older, more vintage, and they have lots of flaws in them. So they put, so it's actually sold from Japan and sometimes they give you free shipping. Sometimes you pay like 30 or $40 for the shipping. And it takes about a week, which is, a, that's pretty short time frame, which this is why I say it's better to buy than on eBay because you can get it in a, in a bundle set and you're getting the shipping is either free or like 30, $35. As opposed if you went to um, other websites like Bai or from Japan where they actually, it's kind of unknown what your shipping is going to be. And 
until after you buy the product and then get shipped to the third party, uh, the third party shipping company. And then they tell you, then they charge you for wrapping and, and then things like that. So I would say I prefer for myself, at least if I'm going to try to save money and time, because sometimes if you're buying from Japan, it's going to take longer if you're buying directly from Japan. Uh, and then the third party shipping, you have to go, well, you still have to you go through customs. You have to go, um, you have to, let's see, go through customs. They have to, they have to package it for you, especially if you're buying more than one product or if you're buying more than one product or handbag from different sellers, they charge you more as well. And then, you know, the shipping amount is going to be ridiculous. So here, from what my experience is, I bought it and it already shipped and it says it'll be here in seven days. So that's, that's amazing. Um, know that these are not handbags that you're just going to get and then turn around, take pictures and sell and make a profit. You could still, like if you see here, it says authentic Louis Vuitton monogram, various uh, junk bag, 10 set, 10 of them. Right now the bid's at $115. Obviously there's three days left. And that's so it's going to go up some. So mine I bought yesterday and I'm going to show you right now what I bought. Um, okay, here it is. So I bought the Louis Vuitton, it says monogram shoulder bag, five pieces. And th these are the actual uh, bucket, um, the Louis Vuitton monogram bucket PM handbags. And if you look from the pictures, they look really nice. I mean, they look decent, but five of them. Now, as you see here, I was the highest bidder at a $809. Now it was at like an hour before it closed the auction. It was, I believe it was at like $426. And then I waited until one minute before and I did a proxy bid, which Proxy bid means that I can, I'll put, I put up 800 and like $55 and then it, it kind of does the bid for me. So if somebody else did a proxy bid and they put $850 and I put 855, then I'm at $850 or $851. I beat their bid. So I did that and the highest bid then would have been 809, which then I won. So even though I put $855, I would go up to, and um, the final bid was at 809. So I outbid the other, the other bidders. Actually, I think I did it 30 seconds before and I won the five bags. Now these five bags, they had, you know, extra pictures of them and so forth to see what, what kind of repairs or what kind of damage they had. And they look pretty good. The only thing I saw, like the exterior was very clean in general, but the interior, some of the lining was um, cut out. A little bit of the lining was cut out. Um, not on all of them, but one in particular. And it, and it was just at the very top. So the other four, the linings look fine. But they so that I so I got this for eight hundred and nine dollars. But out the door, and here's my my order details. The one item was eight hundred and nine dollars. Then the shipping was thirty, and the taxes of seventy dollars and seventy nine cents. So my order total was nine hundred nine dollars and seventy nine cents. As you can see, I paid it. It doesn't say shipped. It's as you can see, the line is to where it says shipped. Um, so it does say it's on its way to actually to California, actually to, I believe to Ontario, California. So that's where it's showing that it's being, uh, that's in, in route to Ontario, California. And it says I should get it, I believe like seven days from yesterday. So I think it was like the 20, 22nd or 21st. So I, I can't remember what they said exactly, but that's what, that's what I got it for. So $900, I know I say keep saying budget, and I know that $900 might be a lot for some people, and I totally get it. But there's other auctions on here. And some of the auctions, one auction closed at like $400, and it gave you three items of Louis Vuitton. And I don't remember which bags they were. I actually tried to bid on it, but then I bid once again. I bid like 
three seconds before and it did not go through it took, and, and, I, and it ended. So I missed out on that. That's why I did this one 30 seconds before. So it gave me plenty of time for it to go through. Um, just depending on your Wi-Fi internet speed. So I, I got these and I do research first because, you know, I'm on these auctions, you have several days to kind of do research what you could possibly make, how much damage if you want to deal with it. Now, I, I, I pick the ones that are not, that don't have the holes on the exterior, things like that. So I'm going to show you another one that is an auction and you can see the damage on some of these that you need to look out for if you don't want to deal with it. So this one right here, if you see uh, the bottom right picture, you can see the cracks and miss it's a little bit of the missing canvas um, on the handbags. And so this, this, this one is in a little bit, uh, needs a lot more repair, but if you see, it says five bags set right now, the bids at $217, $30 shipping. Remember you're going to have taxes and that's not going to be the end of the bid. You still have three more days. So just depending on the style of the handbag that you got to look at that too. There might be one in, in the five handbags that you know, that is very popular right now and can sell for $800 pre-owned on Poshmark or Macari or up to, you know, $1,200, $1,300 if it's in good shape. And maybe you have one that has a couple of flaws in it. And you know that if you get the whole thing for say $500 and you have five piece set there, that that one in particular, you could, if you even sold it, even if you sold it the lowest at $500, you made all your money back and you still have four more pieces of Louis Vuitton that you can, you can sell for and make money. So this is really great for resellers. Like I said, keep in mind whenever you're listing um, a handbag that is, you know, is expensive. I mean, it's people are, are putting out their hard earned money. Please make sure you write everything down. I always put in my description. Um, so you may want to put this too. And I put pictures are part of the description. That way, that kind of holds them liable if they come back and say, well, I didn't see that or she didn't mention that little mark. Well, but it's in the picture. And I stated in there that pictures are part of the description. I might have missed something or forgot to type something in my description. But if you look at the pictures and you make sure you take pictures of all the flaws you can that you see there, um, then you should be okay. If you also state that Sometimes there are things that we did not, um, that maybe we cannot see or that is not in the description that they need to just look at the pictures for all flaws. And that way they can make up their mind if they want to buy it or not. You can also say, please look carefully at the pictures before buying and reach out to me for any questions in regards to the handbag before purchasing. That way, like I said, you'll have less returns when you buy these type of handbags and you're selling them. But there's some people out there that just want a Louis Vuitton bag. They want they want a Louis Vuitton bag and it doesn't matter if it's been pre, pre-loved or if it has some damage to it, especially if it's the inside, so the interior part, because a lot of people don't see obviously the inside of the bag and they care more about the exterior and they're saving several hundred dollars because of it. So these are, this is a great way to pick up a bundle lot of your favorite designer handbags that have some damage. Now I know it says junk, that's what it's called, junk, but um, I've seen some in here where I'm looking at the pictures going, well, you know, some look really, they look really good. They might have a spot here and there on the canvas um, they might be missing the tag or the zipper, um, part of that zipper that, uh, that opens and closes, even though the zipper actually opens to close, it's just that clip part that they might be missing things like that. Things that you can actually buy parts for. And I know some of them can be expensive. I bought a name tag, uh, Louis, Louis Vuitton for my bag. I just bought, I just got it in. And when I did the reveal earlier, uh, the, I didn't check my mailbox. Now remember my bag was delivered to me, to my door, but I never checked my mailbox. And if I did, 
I could have actually opened that as well with you guys, but it was the um, the tag that goes on there. So it just makes it look a little nicer. I did order, so I'm just gonna let you guys know that for the, the brass handles um, or the hardware, I did, I bought Brasso, B-R-A-S-S-O. Now that, if you use a Q-tip and you just lightly, gently put it on your hardware and let it sit there for about, you know, I don't know, about an hour and then wipe it off, you it, it does work and it makes your hardware look a lot newer and shinier. So that really does make it stand out. And then, um, for the canvas part, there was some leather, it's called Apple Leather Conditioner, and I just bought it on Amazon. I'm actually getting it tomorrow, but that um, I've seen some other tutorials and, and watched them do it, and they, they've they actually made the can their canvas, um, the exterior of the canvas look a lot shinier and nicer. And then the leather part, um, there's, you could use different types of waxes and I can't remember right now what that wax is, but I'll have it up there for you in regards to what I ordered. And they said, use a non-alcoholic uh, or non-alcohol wipey, babies wipies. And you put that wax because um, it's, you know, it's already, the wipey's already damp. And then you put the wax on it and then you you wipe down your leather handles and everywhere else it has it and you do it about three times you want it to you want it saturated but not you know extremely saturated you want it enough to where it it will soak in and get rid of all the water stains and things like that and just make it look more even so i am going to do that tomorrow i believe i get it tomorrow so i'm going to do that tomorrow i might do a video with that and that way you can see um, the before and after of this handbag that I just bought. And I, I, and I, I did say earlier that it was a, now I'm saying, if I'm saying it wrong, then I apologize, but a Troville. Um, no, I actually got the do the Duville. So that's the one I got. So the, I'm going to clean that one up and then I'm going to post it online to sell and we'll see what it sells for. I am going to put $850 but I did add that name tag to it, the Louis Vuitton name tag, and I'm cleaning it up to make it try to look as new as possible. And I believe that one, the date code was from 1983. So as you can see, it is it is very, you know, it's like almost 30 years old. Um, actually, almost sorry, almost 40 years old. So uh, it actually looks really good for the for its age. And but I'm hoping to make it look a lot better. So the best thing for you to do, and you can try this with other stuff too. When you go onto eBay, you can try junk Prada, junk um, Dior. Now I've tried that. I didn't really get a lot of luck like I do with Louis Vuitton, but I'm sure they'll probably, maybe they might even have junk coach. Whatever your your forte is or whatever your likes are with, you know, whatever designer bag, you know, just type in junk and then whatever you want after that. And then you can, then you'll see what um, there is. And I always go to the auctions and I always look at sold too. I also, if you want to do this and you don't want to buy maybe um, all these handbags or you're looking for a better deal, you can actually just go onto eBay and type in say a Duval and then um, go under, you know, the search of your filters and put in lowest price first and then it'll bring up the lowest price bag that you asked for or noe say for example noe you type in noe and then and the filters do lowest price first and you'll get the lowest price noe coming up first now some of them might be a little damaged but not like damaged like these that are under junk and you may find one for like 220 dollars and they're selling for um, like mine, I went to Poshmark and as you can see here, here's the same bag that I got. I got five of them and this looks I can, this looks in good condition. And as you can see, she sold one of them for $995. Now I got five for $900. So 
you can see that there's can be profit there. Now I'm going to clean up those bags as well. I'm probably going to keep the one that has the one that the liner is um, half cut out in inside only because it'd be nice to keep one handbag. And like I said, I don't care. I don't care if the interior is not as good uh, as, a, you know, an, an, an newer one. I care more about how the canvas and the leather and the exterior part of it is. So it's all, it's all preference. It's all depends on what you like. But if at the end of the day, I decide at, uh, that would probably be my last one to sell, but I'm going to sell the other four. And then just depending on the profit and if I decide if I want to keep it or not, I will either sell it or keep it. And that's another thing too. I I may just start just kind of like, you know, when you have a leased car, you, you, you know, you're you driving a car and then you give it back. That's kind of what I'm going to be doing with some of these handbags. And as people start talking to me, it's, I'm going to let them know I sell, I sell these and they're authentic. I've looked at a couple of Facebook groups that have that sell designer handbags and I joined their groups because not just, not going to just depend on Macari and Poshmark, but we also have um, Facebook marketplace and then you have your Facebook groups and you you have Craigslist if you want to try that but there's other ways and then carrying the bag and people complimenting it and saying you know what I sell these they're completely 100% authentic and you know some some places will authenticate like Macari will authenticate with a certificate of authenticity for ten dollars so if you have that that's a good thing to have when you're selling your product, you say this was, you know, authenticated by a third party and I have the certificate. So that's another thing you can do. Um, so uh, eBay, I believe, is good for for you to look for m multiple items of Louis Vuitton for a discounted price. And when I say discounted, I mean, this really is discounted $900 for five monogram LV bucket bags, bucket, bucket PM bags with the little feet at the, the bottom, like just like this one. Um, here's this other one. So this one right here sold for $525. So I found one that was low and then I found one that was like more in the middle because I also found some others that sold for like eleven, twelve hundred dollars $1,200. So even if at 500, even if I sold mine for $500 times five, so I have five of them, that's $2,500. And I spent a total all in at 900. So you could see what the profit margin is there. Not saying they're all gonna be like that. You may not win an auction or you may win it and might have uh, more damage or you might get one that has only three items and more damage, but then it, you're also getting for a lot cheaper. They're gonna go for a little, you know, I'd say a lot, but they're more, you know, they're gonna be, sold for cheaper and then you as long as you disclose everything to like Poshmark, Mercari uh, or any other venue um, or you know platform then you should be good and just kind of stay firm on your prices don't go down too much just go up just a little bit of what you want to sell it for that way if someone does make an offer it's hopefully closer to what you wanted originally and stay diligent on that of you know I, for myself, I'm looking every day on eBay under the lowest priced Noe or the lowest priced, you know, any kind of Louis Vuitton bag. And I'm always looking at the the auctions and they do have a, an area where you can say add, uh, add to watch list and they'll add you to the watch list that way. And you know, like the next one that closes that I'm looking at closes on Sunday they're going to continue to notify me so that way I know on Sunday around 7 p.m. that the ones that I liked are going to be closing and that way now I can look to see where I want to bid if I want to bid at all. So there's a little bit to um, information to give you guys out there and the resellers trying to you know hustle make your money uh, something you love to do you know shop and then sell and make money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please um, hit the like button. Please subscribe because I'm going to have more future videos of, of the before and after of the cleaning of the bag. I'm also going to show you more videos of um, the other websites that sell Louis Vuitton from Japan. And then you could decide if you'd rather go straight to, to the websites for Japan or if you decide you just want to try eBay. And if there's any other 
Like we're all here to help each other. And please comment below if you have, if you know of any other websites that do this uh, for the junk Louis Vuitton. That way all of us can, if we all share and we all, you know, work together, we're all going to be making money. I think that's the best thing. That's what I'm here for, to, to have you guys learn um, how to make more money, especially those mothers that stay at home and they enjoy the shopping. If you're already shopping online, this is the best thing to do. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys. Take care. Happy St. Patty's Day.